from among various fighting techniques which could not be adapted for use in Gandori. The JAA has created six of these kata, termed appropriately, if not imaginatively, Dai Ichi, or number one, through Dai Roku, or number six. The most representative of these Koryu Kata is the Dai San, selections from which are demonstrated here by both masters, Tomiki and Oba Sensei. Tomiki Sensei also called it the Goshin no Kata, or self defense kata, and advocated its study by making it a basic requirement for black belt examination. It is in the Randori no Kata where the techniques of Randori can be most clearly seen. The base on which Randori practice is built are these 17 basic techniques and the 10 counter techniques of the Juppon Urawaza. By repeatedly practicing these Kata, one can master the principal technical theories and methods of Tomiki Aikido. In the basic kata, there are striking techniques or atemiwaza, elbow techniques, hijiwaza, wrist techniques, tekubiwaza, and floating techniques or ukiwaza. There are five atemiwaza. It is important to learn to use these techniques in such a way that does not injure the opponent, and this is done by analyzing the direction of movement and looking for weak points in balance. The hijiwaza consists of five variations focusing on the elbow joint, which are employed according to the opponent's changes in motion. Using the four tekubiwaza, one can defeat the opponent by attacking the anatomical weakness of the wrist joint. The three ukiwaza are techniques to throw the uke by controlling the wrist. Next are the counter techniques, which are required for the practice of Toshu Randori, or empty-handed free practice. There are five counters to the Atemi Waza of the basic Randori no Kata, and five against Kansetsu Waza, or joint techniques. By practicing these techniques, one can master combinations and variations, and how to take advantage of openings and weaknesses. There are three levels for the free practice of the techniques from these two basic kata. In Kakari Geiko, one person takes the role of Tori, or defender, and the other is Uke, the attacker. The Tori then freely uses any of the basic techniques against Uke, choosing which technique to use depending on the posture and attack of Uke. Uke can take defensive postures similar to the ones used in Kata. In this way, one can master Waza precisely and acquire the basics 
of variations and combinations. Hikitate geiko is a form of practice where the uke does not take prescribed defensive postures as in kakari geiko, but instead resists, to a small extent, naturally. The tori can combine techniques in response to the movements and resistance of uke as the occasion demands. Through practice, one can master how to instinctively find the opponent's opening. Randori geiko is the next step after hikitate geiko. The tori and uke train together in both defense and offense, freely applying waza and thrusting with a dagger. It is important to note that the person armed with the dagger must not resist correctly executed techniques. And the defender must take an open stance which allows for correct attack by the opponent. At the highest level, a player can control an opponent even before the attack is initiated. To cultivate this skill, it is important to maintain a posture and attitude suitable for the practice of Budo, as well as an alert eagerness to take the initiative during practice.